Okay. Captain. Wake up! Wake up time now? Um, Preston was born at 33 weeks um, due to complications with me and we did not know it at the time we didn't figure it out until several months later but he had suffered a hypoxic brain injury at, in utero um, at that time he spent 20 days in the NICU we brought him home thinking he was perfectly healthy um, at about five months old he started doing this weird little thing with his eyes and his mouth and he would always smile and it was the cutest thing and I would always laugh about it and then come to find out later on we figured out it wasn't a smile at all it was actually a seizure and that's where the seizure started at five months old and it's just progressed since then he's had him every single day of his life since um Preston gets speech therapy um physical therapy and occupational therapy um twice well he gets speech twice a week and he gets the other two once a week um, in physical therapy oh, every that. day that he goes in there, um, she, you know, works a little bit with yeah, all of his smile, muscles, but sorry. the big thing we're working oh, on right now is head control, trying to get some head control. Obviously, wherever the head goes, the body follows. So if we can get, you know, him able to hold his head up, that would, number one, make my life a whole lot easier, but number two, it would be better for him. Um, and then in occupational therapy and OT, they're working a lot with his hands and stretching his hands out and making sure that his... His hands will actually stay open to be able to grasp toys and, and pick up things and, um, you know, things like that. Um, and, and he's doing pretty good in both. He, he is definitely doing pretty good in both. And then in speech therapy, we actually see the speech therapist twice a week. Um, and we're actually doing what they call vital stem, which is basically where they attach electrodes to your face. Well, actually, now he's got his on his larynx and on his oh neck God. muscles. Um, and it oh sends God. electrical impulses into your muscles, which basically give you more stimulation into your muscles than she can do manually um, during therapy. So he's actually shown great, great progress in speech therapy since we've started doing this. You know, so we're, we're, seeing, we're seeing good things. It's slow going. It is slow going, but we're seeing good things. Um, last year, about this time last year, when HB 885, when the House Bill 885 was shot down at the last second um, in session last year, I started doing a little bit of research on it. I knew it was a medical marijuana bill, but I didn't exactly know what it consisted of, but I knew that it was for epilepsy, you know, patients. And I, but I, I still didn't know the details about it. So I really started, you know, kind of digging in and doing my homework on it and, once I discovered exactly what it was and that it was an oil, strictly an oil, um, with little to no THC in it that was actually helping children with intractable epilepsy, I mean, it was kind of a no-brainer for me. I mean, there was nothing there to hurt him because the THC was being taken out, but there was actually a medication there, the CBD, that was actually helping. And so, you know, the more homework I did and the more studies I did, you know, I, I went and I talked to his doctor about it. And I, I mean, I, I was on board with it. As soon as I figured out what it was really about, there was, it was a no brainer for us, you know? So we immediately told his doctor way back last year sometime that when the time came and it was available, we wanted to be on it. We wanted to try it. And so when the trial when the governor decided to start the trial study, um, somehow by the grace of God, we were one of the first families chosen. Um, HB1 the is the new bill for this girls. year. Um, Seven, since HB 885 was shot There's down, they basically rewrote a new bill this year. Um, and, and it basically well is a, a, a medicinal a marijuana bill. It's a medical I cannabis bill um, that for each of you. basically decriminalizes the use of medical cannabis oil strictly the oil it's not the smokable form it's not pill form it's not it's strictly the oil form with low thc um, and it finally got passed this year we had a couple of back and forths there for a minute but it did finally get passed this year so any patient that has any of the qualifying conditions that are in the bill 
um, can actually get access to it. Well, can they can use it and not be criminalized for it if they get caught with it. It's still kind of a conundrum about how we're going to get it here, but once they get it here, they will not be in trouble for having it here as long as they have under the THC limit and under the quantity limit. They can only have up to 20 ounces of it or less. So we're extremely excited that it got passed. It's going to change a whole lot of lives for a whole lot of people. So, isn't that right, buddy? <laughs>